You'll never understand the power of the resurrection until you understand the grave in which you were lifted out of. Until you look. Has it ever happened? You ever come to a point in your life where you're so entrapped by sin, and yet you looked and lived? If he can overcome your sin, then I believe he can transform your heart. And if he can overcome the grave, then he can overcome any worry, any fear, any anxiety, any trouble, any doubt that you might face in your life. He's that powerful if you look and live. When you have discovered this good news, when you realize the grave in which Christ pulled you out of, the only reasonable response at that moment is to tell other people who are blind, who were bitten by that same serpent that you were bitten by, to look. What, imagine if you were in Numbers 21. If you got bit by the snake and you got some horrible like skin, like it was just bad. Like you were, you were just flat out. You had this horrible thing crawling up your skin. You were, had a fever. You were about to die. And then someone said, look, look at this bronze thing. Look at this serpent. And then you looked and you're, heal, you're healed. And then your neighbor the next day gets bit by that snake. Wouldn't you want to go over to your neighbor's house and say, look, look. Do you realize that's the situation that we find ourselves in? Those who have looked upon the cross and have been healed of our sin, that poison that had infected our hearts, the only reasonable response is to go knocking and to build relationships with people, to tell them in the most loving and servant-hearted way possible, look and live. You don't have to die. All you have to do is look. Look. 